Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss Bellman Ford algorithm and dynamic programming technique. Already, we have discussed what is Bellman Ford algorithm and what is the procedure to implement Bellman Ford algorithm using dynamic programming technique. This is the second example. So, Bellman Ford algorithm is nothing but it is used to find single source shortest path problem. That is, one vertex will be considered as the source vertex. From that vertex to all other vertices in the given graph, we need to find the shortest path. The Digistras algorithm is also used to implement single source shortest path problem. But in Digistras algorithm, we cannot able to implement for negative edges. That is, we cannot able to find the shortest path if the edges consist of negative weights. So, that will be overcome by Bellman Ford algorithm. Bellman Ford algorithm can work with negative weights. So, here find the shortest path from node 1 to every other node in the following graph using Bellman Ford algorithm. So, here vertex 1 will be considered as the source vertex. And what is the procedure to implement Bellman Ford algorithm in the sense? First point is we need to relax the edges in Bellman Ford algorithm n minus 1 times. So, here n is nothing but the number of vertices in the given graph. Okay, so here in our graph, there are six vertices. So, six minus one times in the sense, we have to relax five times for this example. So, this is first key point we need to implement. So, five iterations, we need to relax the edges. Okay, and every iteration, how we are going to relax the edges in the sense of, suppose if you want to find the shortest distance between one vertex to another vertex. So, this will be considered as the source vertex and this will be considered as the destination vertex. So, source vertex consider it as U and the destination vertex consider it as V. And the distance of the source vertex is D of U, distance of the destination vertex is D of V. Now, we need to find the shortest distance from vertex 2 to vertex 4. Okay. So, how we are going to implement in the sense of distance of V is minimum of that is already what is the shortest path for the vertex 4, that is D of V. Otherwise, through this vertex 2, if you are finding a new path and that is the shortest path in the sense, we need to consider the shortest path. Okay. So, through this vertex 2 in the sense, distance of U plus what is the cost to travel from 2 to 4? That is plus 1. So, distance of u plus cost of u comma v, that is 1 in the sense. If this distance is minimum in the sense, that we will consider. That is distance of u plus cost of u comma v. Okay. So, if already the distance of v is minimum in the sense, that we can consider. Or otherwise, the new path if you are considering and that cost is minimum in the sense, that we will consider. Which one is minimum, that we will consider. So, this procedure we are going to implement in every iteration. So, every iteration we will relax the edges and we are going to implement 5 iterations here. Okay. So, 5 times we are going to relax the edges. So, these two key points we need to consider for Bellman Ford algorithm. So, first step we need to find the initial cost adjacency map. So, here source vertex we need to consider it as 1. So, 1 will be considered as the source vertex. So, from this source vertex to all other vertices, we need to find the shortest path. So, what is initial cost adjacency matrix? We need to enter the distance from one vertex to another vertex as given in the graph. Okay. So, from 1 to 2, if you are considering distances 2, we need to consider the direction also. So, likewise, for every vertex to all other vertices, we need to enter the cost. And also, we are not going to find the shortest path from the vertex to itself. It will be a cycle. Okay. So, we are not going to implement like that. So, for every vertex to itself, the distance will be 0. So, 2 to 2 also, distance will be 0, 3 to 3, 4 to 4, 5 to 5, 6 to 6. So, for all vertices, the distance to itself will be 0. And now, consider from vertex 1, 1 to 2, distance is 2. And 1, 2, 3, distance is 4. And if you are considering vertex 4, 5 and 6, it is not directly reachable from vertex 1. So, consider it as infinite. Similarly, from vertex 2, the reachable vertices are 4, 5 and 3. So, 2 to 3, distance is minus 3. 
and 2 to 4, 1, 2 to 5, it is 5, and remaining all other vertices, it is not reachable directly, so consider it as infinite. Similarly, from vertex 3, the reachable vertices are 4 and 5. So, 3 to 4 distances minus 4, 3 to 5 distances minus 2, remaining all other vertices infinite, not reachable directly. And 4, if you are considering only reachable vertices, is 4 to 6 distances 8, remaining all other vertices not reachable. And if Vertex 5, if you are considering 5 to 4, distance is 4 and 5 to 6, distance is 6, remaining infinite. And vertex 6, if you are considering none of the vertices reachable from vertex 6. So, all we need to consider it as infinite. Okay. And from here, if you are considering in the sense, since source vertex, we are considering it as 1. Okay, and the distance from the source vertex to all other vertices, that is the first row from the source vertex, we need to consider as per now, this is the shortest distance from vertex 1 to all other vertices. Here, we are not going to consider vertex 1. Since we are not going to find the shortest distance from all other vertices to vertex 1, 2 to 1, we are not going to find the shortest part. 3 to 1, we are not going to find. From 1 to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we are going to consider the shortest path. Okay. So, the initial shortest distance is 0, 2, 4. That is from vertex 1 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This is the initial shortest distance. And this step is relaxing the edge k equal to 1. And with this, we will consider the next step. That is relaxing the edges k equal to 2. Next step. Relaxing the edge k equal to 2. And this is the initial shortest distance from source vertex 1 to all other vertices. And this is nothing but cost to travel from the source vertex to the destination vertex for each vertex. So, this is for 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. With this initial shortest distance, we are going to add the corresponding values and we will fill it in the corresponding row. Likewise, we will fill this complete table and then we will find the minimum of this. What is the minimum value of this? And that will be considered as the new shortest distance from source vertex to all other vertices. Okay. So, add the value 0 with the corresponding values here. 0 plus 2, value is 2. 0 plus 4, 0 plus infinite, 0 plus infinite, 0 plus infinite. Similarly, for vertex 2, 2 plus 0, 2 minus 3, minus 1. 2 plus 1, 2 plus 5, and 2 plus infinite. Next vertex 3, 4 plus infinite, 4 plus 0, 4 minus 4, it is 0, 4 minus 2, it is 2, 4 plus infinite. Next vertex 4, everything we will get it as infinite. Since all other values are infinite, we will get completely infinite. So now we need to consider if this one is minimum or among these values, which one is minimum, that we need to consider now. So, here the value is 2 and among here the value is 2. So, val minimum value is 2. And here value is 4 and among here if you are considering value, minimum value is minus 1. So, consider minus 1 here. Similarly, here it is infinite and here 0 is minimum. Okay. So, among these values, either this value or among these values, which one is minimum that we need to consider. Okay. So, here if you are considering minimum is 2 here infinite. Now, this is the new shortest distance from source vertex 1 to vertex 2, vertex 3, 4, 5 and 6. And with the shortest distance, we will continue the next iteration that is relaxing the edge. How many times we need to relax the edge? n minus 1 times, that is 5 times here. 2 times is over, another 3 times we need to relax the edges. Next iteration, relaxing the edge, k equal to 3. And this is the distance of u from source vertex 1 to all other vertices. As per previous iteration, this is the shortest distance. And this is cost to travel from the source vertex 1 to all other vertices. And this is the shortest distance in previous iteration. With this, we are going to add this cost value. And we will get a new matrix. From that, we will find the minimum distance, okay? So, now, 0 plus 2, 0 plus 4, 0 plus infinite, infinite, infinite. Next, uh, vertex 2, 2 plus 0, 2 minus 3, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 5, 2 plus infinite. 
Next to vertex 3 with minus 1, minus 1 plus infinite, minus 1 plus 0, minus 1 plus minus 4, it is minus 5, minus 1 plus minus 2, minus 3, infinite. Next with vertex 4, 0. So, we are adding infinite, infinite, 0, infinite and 8. Next, vertex 5, it is 2. 2 plus infinite, 2 plus infinite, 2 plus 4, 2 plus 0, 2 plus 6. Next, vertex 6, all we will get infinite. And from this, we have to find the minimum value. Which one is minimum? 2 or here, minimum is 2. And this is minus 1, minimum is minus 1. And this is 0. And here it is minus 5 is minimum. So, we will consider minus 5. And here it is 2. And here minus 3 is minimum. So, we will consider minus 3. And here 8 is minimum accordingly. Okay. So, now this is the new shortest distance. After relaxing the edge, k equal to 3. So, with the shortest distance, we will continue. Next iteration, relaxing the edge, k equal to 4. So now, add the value 0 with the corresponding value. 0 plus 2, 0 plus 4, 0 plus infinite. And uh, vertex 2, 2 plus. 2 plus 0, 2 minus 3, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 5, infinite. And for vertex 3, minus 1. Minus 1 plus infinite, minus 1 plus 0, minus 1 minus 4 minus 5, minus 1 minus 2 minus 3, infinite. And for vertex 4, it is minus 5, infinite, infinite, 0 plus minus 5, minus 5 plus 8, 3. Next, vertex 5, minus 3, minus 3 plus infinite, minus 3 plus infinite, minus 3 plus 4, 1, minus 3 plus 0, minus 3, minus 3 plus 6, 3. Next, vertex 6, 8 plus. So, all we will get infinite and last value of 0 plus 8. And with this, which one is minimum? Here value was 2. Here minimum value was minus 1. And here minus 5. Here minus 3. Here it is 3. Now, this value is changed. And this is the new shortest distance after relaxing the edge k equal to 4. With this, continue the next iteration relaxing the edge k equal to 5. For vertex 1, 0 plus 2, 0 plus 4, infinite, infinite. And vertex 2, 2 plus 0, 2 minus 3, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 5, 2 plus infinite. For vertex 3, minus 1 plus infinite, minus 1 plus 0, minus 1 minus 4, minus 1 minus 2, minus 1 plus infinite. Vertex 4, minus 5 with the infinite, then minus 5 plus 0, minus 5. Minus 5 plus infinite. Minus 5 plus 8, it is 3. Next for vertex 5, minus 3 plus infinite. Minus 3 plus 4, 1. Minus 3 plus 0, minus 3 plus 6. And for vertex 6, it is 3 plus infinite. So, last value we will get 3, 0 plus 3. And among this minimum value was 2. Here minimum is minus 1. Here minimum is minus 5. And here minimum is minus 3 and here 3 and this is the new shortest distance according to relaxing the edge 5. So, now if we are considering we have relaxed the edges 5 times and this will be considered as the final shortest distance. So, now whatever the shortest distance we got in each iteration that we will fill it in this table. So, first iteration when k equal to 1 that will be considered as the initial distance. We will find the cost adjacency matrix and from that we will consider the first row value from source vertex to all other vertices that will be considered as the initial distance and that is the shortest distance according to that iteration. Okay, so that value was 0, 2, 4, infinite, infinite and infinite and when k equal to 2 shortest distance is 0, 2, minus 1, 0, 2, infinite. And k equal to 3, value is 0, 2, minus 1, minus 5, minus 3, and 8. When k equal to 4, it is 0, 2, minus 1, minus 5, minus 3, and 3. And when k equal to 5, it is 0, 2, minus 1, minus 5, minus 3, and 3. So, here if you are considering in the sense from the source vertex 1 to 2, shortest distance is 2 and 1 to 3 if you are considering in the sense shortest distance is minus 1. How? That is 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 it is minus 1. Okay. But 1 to 3 directly if you are considering it is 4. 
compared to that this distance is minimum so we will consider minus 1 similarly 1 to 4 if we are considering shortest distance is minus 5 that is 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 we will get minus 5 okay similarly 1 to 5 if you are considering shortest distance is minus 3 that is 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 5 next 1 to 6 if you are considering shortest distance is 3 so if you are considering here according to dynamic programming technique we have implemented the single source shortest path problem using Bellman code algorithm that is from the source vertex to all other vertices we have find the shortest path in dynamic programming technique we will try to find each and every possibility and which one is minimum and which is the best solution that we will take it okay so accordingly we have implemented the shortest path for Bellman code algorithm and this is the procedure to implement thank you for watching this video